I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. I'm a warrior, champion, and that's what we do. You think you won. The world thinks I failed. But the truth is, I got you right where I want you. Fire true music. Me and destiny in collusion. Deep the dreaming. Starve the illusion. I'm not weak. I'm just strong in the making. You'll never make me tap out. You can't break me. Struggle made me. Watch me do it. I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. I move away from the safety and comfort of the familiar and instead aggressively pursue the unknown. Like David waiting on the throne. Ah, Cry. Greatness is the child born out of intense struggle. Ah, trials and tribulations are the factory that produce genius. When an average person experiences rejection, their motivation diminishes. When a champion, a warrior, tastes rejection, it makes them hungrier than alpha. The biggest enemy of greatness is the undisciplined mind. Anyone who desires success at the highest level must first conquer their own thinking. As believers, we must chisel away with faith the illusion that what we desire is absent. Unwavering belief is the creative process that allows the full manifestation of what has always been. The law of attraction will bend and shape reality until the outside world looks like what we are seeing in our mind. I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. We don't have to wait until we die in order to experience heaven. Our thinking can bring heaven to us now. Rise, champion. Cry. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you are trying to sell a dream to others that you yourself don't believe in. Successful people buy in first, knowing that the world will eventually follow. Your thinking must stop having affairs and must remain loyal to your dream for it to become a reality. Your spiritual adversary needs your fear and doubt in order to sustain himself. True warriors will always rise. Most of those that we call genius, regardless of their field of expertise, created their masterpieces from an emotional environment of pain. The hurts became legends by channeling and unleashing those raw, intense emotions of afflictions into their work. We feel and resonate deeply with their artistic expressions of truth because of the agony and trauma that gave birth to it. So use the gift of your own trial and tribulation to propel you beyond the common limits of average human existence. Harness this powerful inner energy created from your struggle and use it as transportation to take you to that place the world calls greatness. All the great influences who shook the world did so by finding the strength in being vulnerable and owning it. I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. I'm a warrior, champion, and that's what we do. You think you won. The world thinks I failed. But the truth is, I got you right where I want you. Fire true music. Me and destiny in collusion. Feed the dreaming. Starve the illusion. I'm not weak. I'm just strong in the making. You'll never make me tap out. You can't break me. Struggle made me. Watch me do it. I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. I move away from the safety and comfort of the familiar and instead aggressively pursue the unknown. Like David waiting on the throne. Ah, cry. Greatness is the child born out of intense struggle. Ah, trials and tribulations are the factory that produce genius. Fire true music. Me and destiny in collusion. Deep the dreaming. Star the illusion. <laughs> you can't break me because the struggle made me. Dr. Billy Allsbrook. Boy, you blessed and unstoppable. Fire true music. The number one reason people fail is broken focus. You gotta keep your mind on your dream. Your eyes on the prize. Stop worrying about what everybody else is saying or doing. Get up every morning and cry every moment that you're worried about the opinions of others is a second that you're losing. Stop talking and let your grind be your response. As a man thinking in his heart, 
so easy. Every second of the day, I eat and do what it takes to be a champ. I refuse to be distracted by things that don't move me toward my dream. Any people that handle the physical aspect of the game is that middle part that separates the champions from everyone else. You see, each level that you go up, you start out in Pee Wee, then you move to middle school, then high school, and then D1, and then to the pros. Each level you climb, the distractions will increase. Greatness is about execution. What separates the average players from the legends is the legends can consistently, no matter what is going on around them, can find that focus on the inside and consistently deliver. There's a lot of you out there listening to me right now. And I want to say this to you. You have the talent. But to go to that next level, the thing that everything hinges on is whether you can master your mind or not. That's the key. You've got to master your mind. You've got to stay focused. Lock out the chatter. Put on the blinders and keep your eyes on the prize. Stop listening to the critics. Their opinion does not determine your destiny. What does is your work ethic, your grind, your focus, your determination, your faith, your perseverance, and that will that says, I am a champion. Stay focused and execute the more overwhelmed you feel. The more complicated things seem to be, the more you must break it down into small, manageable pieces. Whenever you get lost, whenever you face a setback, the thing to do is to go back to basics. You take it one thought at a time, one play at a time, one rep at a time, one set at a time, one day at a time. Success is a marathon of consistency walked out one day at a time. Allocate every second, every minute of your day to your dream. They say it takes 10,000 hours of practice to achieve mastery in any given field. 20,000 to be alleged. General George Pat said, you must be single-minded. Drive for the one thing that you have decided. What do you want in life? What separates champions from the rest is how they respond when life sucker punches them in the face. They never consider laying down. They get up. They arise because they're champions. They find a way to regroup. They find a way to refocus. They keep their eyes on the goal and they execute. Stay focused is the million dollar question. What are you going to do today to improve your life? Michael Jordan. LeBron James, Julio Jones, Tom Brady, Michael Phelps. These guys can stay focused when the lights come on. The critics, the news, the scandals, the rumors, it doesn't matter. They still perform. Let thine eyes look right on and let thy eyelids look straight before thee. Stay focused. A disciplined mind rooted in truth can do the impossible, whether it's business, arts, music, writing, film, sports, whatever it is, there's truth, principles that govern the laws of success in every field. Massive success requires massive focus. You gotta focus on these things, the things that really matter. You gotta practice them over and over until you can do them when the lights come on. Our lives on the fruit of our most consistent thought patterns. It's all connected. Everything you do is filtered through your belief system. When you change your mindset, everything else in your life will change as well. Being a champion isn't just about the trophies. It's a winning mindset that you filter every aspect of your life through. You don't want to be just a champion on the field, or on the court, or in the weight room. You want to be a champion in your finances, in your relationships, in your business, in your art, in your music. Whatever you do is the same mindset. Different fields might have different techniques to be successful, but the one thing that is consistent is the mindset. It doesn't matter the field, champions speak the same language. They understand each other. Successful people filter every aspect of their life through empowering belief systems. Every minute of your time should be harnessed, leveraged, and held accountable to your success. The one thing that your future hinges on is your level of focus. Can you stay focused long enough to let that greatness on the inside of you shine?